Hey, this is Nate. Thanks for reaching out on Facebook. Just wanted to put this quick review together for you. Basically, there are three things that Google is looking for. Content, citations, and backlinks. And we'll get into what those are. You know, scrolling down here through the site, the layout and everything looks nice, but there's really no content on here. You know, you've got a little customer view section and the about us section, and that's about it. You know, Google really doesn't see all the pictures and things like that. There are ways to hide keywords behind pictures and, you know, through anchor text on backlinks and stuff like that. But the easiest and fastest way for Google to find them is to have them organically in the content on your page. So they're really looking for about 1,500 to 2,000 words on the home page and about 500 to 750 on those back pages. So you can organically fit those keywords and keyword phrases people are looking for into the content. You know, here's one of the other companies that showed up. Again, you know, not a not a terrible looking website or anything, but they're pretty short on the content, which is common in most cases. You know, here's one of the other guys that I found. Again, not a whole lot here. He does have a little bit more content here and there, but he's still not anywhere near that 1500 word mark. You know, they shouldn't be super hard to beat out if we can get the right content in there. You know, this is Eric's. This is one of the tools we use. I don't know if your site's fairly new or not, but currently they're not showing up for any any organic keywords. These guys are showing up for 172. This guy's showing up for one, and I already clicked on that, and it doesn't show up anything anyway. But this guy is not organically ranking. He is in the map pack section, though. So if we go back over here and look at these keywords, my personal opinion is they don't really have a lot of pressure washing keywords. If I were to look at the keywords, I would assume this company makes beer, not does pressure washing because they have breweries and breweries and, and beer and craft beer, but they do have gutter cleaning, you know, Columbia Indy. There's 20 people a month that search for that. These guys are in the 10th position, which is the very bottom of the first page, and they're getting maybe a half a click a month. So every two months, they got one guy coming to their site for that. All of the pressure washing type keywords I found for these guys are all about gutter cleaning. But, you know, there's 20 people searching this. They're in the 14th position, so they're not really getting any traffic there either. You know, house washing services near me is not a bad one. There's 150 people looking, but those people could be anywhere in the country because it does not specify a city or state. So, you know, looking at the keywords they have, I'm not going to tell you that they have any great keywords that we should steal. But, um, you know, pressure washing Maryland... 40 people a month looking for it. They're in the 40th position, so they're not getting traffic for that. But we'll go back up here to, let's, where was that gutter cleaning one that was actually in Columbia? These are the type of keywords I like to find. I like to see a little higher search volume on them. But it's what I call generic keywords. It says what you do and where you do it. So those are the right type of keywords, but I didn't really find a fantastic example for you. The second thing would be your citations. And I'm in the wrong spot again, hold on a minute. Right here is what we call the Google Map Pack. You should have a Google My Business page set up. If you don't, definitely get that done. You know, we call it your GMB. Well, your GMB is very much directly linked to getting into this map pack. And one of the big things that they look for is your citations. What a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number listed in multiple directories across the internet, exactly the way it's listed on your Google My Business page. So some of the big ones are gonna be Yellow Pages, um, Yelp, Merchant Circle, Better Business Bureau, but there's hundreds if not thousands of them out there. It's just a matter of tracking them down, signing up for them, and getting your information in there. The third thing would be backlinks. You're currently not showing for any backlinks, but a backlink is any other website that has a link that points back to you. It's kind of a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the more authority Google's going to give you and the more popular they think you are. Some of your citations are going to give you backlinks. There's blog commenting that you can do. Lots of ways to do it. But not all backlinks are created equal. You want to avoid spammy type of backlinks. You do want to try to keep them relevant to the industry that you're in. Having a backlink at the local hair salon or the pizza hut 
Unless, of course, maybe you're pressure washing the Pizza Hut. That might actually help you out. But um, generally try to keep them relevant to the type of industry that you're in. You know, if we go here, these guys only have 20 backlinks. You know, this guy says he has 31. So we can go in here and see what they've got. And one of the things we can do is go in here, and as you can see, a lot of these are, you know, different yellow page directories for different areas and different types of things that they can do. But um, we can go in and check these out, make sure they are the type of backlinks that we want, that they do have the proper power and authority, and try to get you backlinks on those same pages. You know, I call it the copycat method. Find the guy that's winning, copy what they're doing, and then find some on our own and just blow this guy out of the water beat him at his own game. But that is my basic overview for you. I can do some more research on some different keywords. I know you said you had a sheet from Google. I'd kind of like to see what some of those are to see if any of them are more location specific. But, you know, if you need any help with anything, feel free to reach out. Definitely something we can help you out with. We can do the keyword research, find out what people are looking for, and get that type of content onto your page for you. Thank you for your time.